Hi, Gary Oceana here with G3 Agency. This is your free website audit for Bella. Um, so the idea behind this video is I'd like to show you how you can get in front of people searching for your services on Google. Um, this is um, totally free. This is my gift to you and you can do with this information whatever you would like. If you'd like to take action on this stuff and do this yourself, you, I'm going to try to do my best to explain it in a way that you'll be able to take care of these things on your own. Um, also, if you'd like to have, you know, send this out to your business who, you know, whoever helps you with your website, if you have someone who does that, you're absolutely welcome to do that too. No harm done to me at all. Um, my goal is to help as many locally owned businesses as I can, and this is how I can do that. So, um, let's just jump right in. Uh, first thing is, uh, this is a beautiful picture. <laughs> um, your site is, I mean, it's very simple. It's very, it's, I mean, it was, it's kind of like, um, a time capsule a little bit. Um, it's a fantastic site for when it was created. Um, and I like that you've, you know, obviously you've kept up with some updates here and there, you know, it's not an abandoned site in any way. It's very functioning. Um, but uh, it's probably not very mobile friendly. Um, so over half of the people on your coming to your website will be on their mobile phone. And um, it looks like I can't even make it small enough to show like a mobile phone would. But you can see how this would be a little difficult to see on a, on a cell phone. Um, so you're probably going to want to update this. <laughs> but um, even without updating it, uh, you can you could show up on Google, um, at least on desktop. Um, so what you're going to want to do is increase the amount of words on your site. Google loves uh, content and would... Um, and basically it uses the words on your page to understand what you do and where you do it. Um, so having lots of information about what you do, where you are, um, that's going to basically set you up to look like the expert, which you are, um, but you want Google to know that as well. So you want to have lots of content. You want to also make sure to include these specific phrases that people are going to type into Google when they're looking for your services um, and the, and when they're in the Chicago area. Let me make sure. Yeah, Chicago's right. <laughs> and so um, I'll show you what phrases those are in just a moment. Um, but one more place that you can include key phrases um, to indicate that you're the person to show up when someone searches it is uh, if I right click on this image and click save image as I can see that this image was saved as home.jpg. Um, what, what you could do is, um, and it would be very beneficial, um, save this image instead as those key phrases, one of those key phrases that people are using to look for your services. Um, so for instance, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm going to take a look at your services page too. Yeah, same thing goes here. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really love this image right here. Um, but same thing, if I click save image as, this is saved as carpets, which is, I mean, it's kind of helpful, but it would be better if it was um, these other phrases. I'll show you. Um, actually, I'll show you right now. Uh, so I put in Chicago carpet into my keywords uh, explorer, which is basically a keyword research tool that helps me see how many people are searching for what each month on Google. So um, I can see here on an average month, 1.2 thousand people or yeah, 1.2 thousand people are searching for carpet cleaning Chicago, specifically spelling it that way. Um, another 250 people are looking for carpet cleaning in Chicago, but they're they're typing into Google carpet cleaners Chicago, slightly different. And to you and me, we can tell that's the same thing, but to Google, this is two different, entirely different things <laughs> uh, because it's just a machine and it just knows, you know, character for character. So um, that's why you want to make sure to include those exact words in your content on your homepage and on your other service pages. Um, because Google needs it to be very, um, sort of very obvious. You really want to just be like, see these words, these are the words I want to show up for. <laughs> so you got to include that in your content. So, um, this one is, I mean, this is an astounding amount of people looking for your services. And then right here, this is, um, another important factor. Um, it's, it's KD stands for keyword difficulty. 
And it's basically a rating of how difficult it would be to rank uh, on the first page of Google, to show up on that first page uh, for that keyword. So for instance, this one here and this one here, both are eight, at 18. So this tells me it would take a little while to get to the first page of Google, but it's within reach. Um, something like this is going to be a little bit harder to get to uh, to the first page of Google for, but still within reach. This one here, um, it's probably not a very good keyword because I think this is like a brand, maybe? I, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think it's necessarily people who know that they need carpet cleaning done but don't know who they're going with yet. That's what we want. That's our golden spot. Um, and that's exactly what these two phrases right here mean. Um, but if you did want to uh, rank for this word for some reason, it wouldn't take very long because it's got this such a low uh, number here. Um, so it's showing very, very little competition for that. But this has got a, a medium low amount of competition. Uh, this is within reach and it's definitely worth it. So let's check that out. Um, so once you've identified what word you'd like to show up for, what you want to do is type it into Google and check out what the competition is doing. Uh, these are ads, we're just going to skip past those. Um, so the first place that you want to show up on Google's results is in the Maps section. And this is the top three local uh, map results. How you get up into this area is first you got to make sure that your Google My Business is accurate. Uh, and then uh, you, you want to make sure that your name, address, and phone number are spelled perfectly because then you're going to take that information and put it all over different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, etc. Um, and that's going to basically each time that you list your information on one of those directories is known as a citation. And each citation is sort of like a vote of confidence in your business saying you really do serve this area. And if you have more citations than your competition, you're very likely to show up closer to the top of maps. And if you end up in the top three, you're on this first page of Google, which is great because that's going to lead a lot of people to your website. And it's also going to get a lot of people calling you. And then um, down here, we've got um, the first organic result. This is another spot where you really want to be. This is going to get more clicks than any other link on this page. So uh, this is the website that's currently sitting in that position. So we can take a look. I mean, this part looks pretty, and then down here, it just kind of goes ugly. <laughs> but Google does not care about how pretty a website is. And what it cares about is these words, and you'll see it has a lot of words. I mean, if I sit right here, all you see is words. <laughs> so there's a lot of words on this page, um, but it's not that long. So, I mean, it, it looks like a lot of words, but if if they had, uh, they could have put a lot more words on here and made, made it look prettier still. So um, what you're going to want to do if you want to outrank them is have more words on your site than they do. And then include, oh, sorry, that's my alarm. Um, include those phrases that people are searching into Google when they're looking for your services. And then um, if I right click on their image, click save image as, I can see this image was saved as uh, IMG underscore 3386B. <laughs> so this is not helpful. This is a missed opportunity. And they could have saved their image as one of those um, carpet cleaning Chicago, for example, those key phrases. Uh, but they did not. And they honestly don't have to because they're sitting at the top already. But it's what I would suggest that you do. Um, and then if I put them into this same tool that I used for um, seeing your website's scores as well as um, the keyword uh, research that I did, I can see that their UR score is 20, uh, their DR score is 32, so their page is trusted 20 out of 100, their whole website is trusted uh, 32 out of 100, and that's because they've got 78 referring domains coming just to this page. And then um, their entire site has oh, 78 referring domains. I'm confused. I guess, I guess, okay. <laughs> I guess it was just 78 for the whole thing. I thought it would be more than that. But anyways, um, I can take a look now and see what, um, what referring domains there are. And so like this one's uh, carpet cleaning near me. This one's a good one. It's relevant. It makes sense that they would have a, a link on their website back to back to a carpet cleaner. Um, and uh, it has a TR score of 51. So it's 
pretty trusted by Google. Um, just be careful um, not to do this. <laughs> this is um, this is low quality backlinks, and those are those are dragging the score down. Um, so this is an old tactic that used to work to help uh, boost your your visibility on Google, but since then Google has changed the algorithm, and these kinds of links are are detrimental instead of helpful. Okay, so that's it for me. Thank you so much for your time for watching this video. Um, and I hope that you'll reach out to me with any questions that you may have. Uh, and if you're interested in getting help with this stuff, of course, I'd be happy to set up a meeting to talk about your goals. All right. Thank you so much for your time and uh, have a wonderful week.